so cute. I got three little followers. I got Turbo, Andy, we're all feeding the girls, and Camo. <laughs> One big happy little family here. <laughs> hey guys, today is October 5th. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show you what Lola and I have been working on. So remember how I said she gets really anxious and when you ask her to back out of the trailer, she rushes aggressively and it can be dangerous. So I've been working on her to load in and back up one step at a time. I'm pulling her nose in because she's trying to look for a Rio and Rio's over there. So let me go ahead and demo what we've been doing. Yesterday was <laughs> very interesting. Yesterday I hauled her to the arena. Um, her mom rode her and um, she had her trailer loading session in the morning with me, groundwork, and then after that she had a, a little break throughout the day and then in the afternoon took her back to the arena, took her to the arena so her mom could ride her. After her mom was done riding her, I said, just leave her tied up. She's done. She was fully sweated, got a great workout, and um, left her tied up at the trailer for a couple hours. She was pawing. She was being really anxious. Um, I just kind of, you know, ignored her because I wanted her to figure it out. She's tied up. She needs to learn patience because she's been in the patience tree. So, crazy thing. Um, I couldn't address her because I was in lessons, so I just kind of let her there figure it out. What she ended up doing was busting the stem valve out of one of the trailer tires and the psh, psh, psh sound did startle her. She reared up a couple of times trying to get away from that sound and uh, there was really nothing I could do because she was rearing up. I couldn't untie her, that was dangerous. So I just stood there, let her calm down, talk to her. Finally, she calmed down, the tire stopped. <laughs> like that. <sighs> anyway, so yes. Then that night, I wanted to, we wanted to leave the arena and she did not want to load up. She was a little startled, spooked from the incident, but I did get her in and it was great. This morning, she got in just fine. So let me go ahead and show you what I've been doing. <laughs> okay, Lola. You ready, girl? Let's step back. Good girl. All right. Lola. Good girl. All right. She's coming in to eat her hay. Very nice. We're going to wait here for a little bit. Let her get one more bite. Good. All right, I'm going to ask her to back up, back, one step at a time. Good girl. And I'm barely asking her to back up, so it's very light. One step. Ooh, good girl. One step. Easy. Easy. Good. Oh, very good, Lola. Very good. And I'm going to have her keep backing up very quietly and slowly. Come on, pay attention to me. Oh, good. And we're going to reward. Good girl. Let me. Good girl. Very nice. Can we get your head down? Yes, relax, so alert, looking for the horses. Head down. Good girl, there. That was really nice. Okay, I'm just gonna walk her away from this. Okay guys, let me show you how I have my setup. So, hay bag, far ring. Her lead line is hooked to this lead and I have a long line. You want to have a long line. So when I close the divider, I'm walking to the side of my divider and as I'm stepping back, I'm pulling her forward 
and she came in, set herself up slanted like she's supposed to. And then I was able to reach out all the way over here and close my divider. Now that way she is not tied right away. So if she does try to startle herself and pull herself, she doesn't freak out. So I'm giving her the pressure and then the release. So she's learned that really well now. And now, next thing I do, I'm gonna easy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tie her up right here. Good, we're just gonna go forward for a little bit and then I'm gonna take her out. We're not hauling anywhere today. <laughs> hey, sweet pea. That's such a cute little look. That's such a cute little look. You look like an otter. <laughs> okay, one thing I wanted to point out is um, before she came here, um, I would work with her mom in loading at their place with their trailer and everything. And I have noticed, hey, nose in. I have noticed um, that she has not gotten the nervous poops like she used to. She used to poop like eight to ten times. Her mom even counted one time and um, every single time, eight to ten times she would poop the nervous poops. So since I started building her um, confidence and building, establishing patience with her, she just pooped once. This is the first time she's actually pooped since um, we got in her in the trailer. So that was really good. Well, while loading, while practicing loading, she'd poop, 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 poop. She just pooped once. Yay! That means her anxiety level is dropping. Okay, we're just going to pull forward and then we're going to unload. Okay, we literally just drove from right there to right here. So let's go ahead and load her up. Unload her. Okay, back. Okay. Hey. We don't do that. No. We're going to go back in. That's one thing we are not going to do. Okay, that was very aggressive. Very aggressive. So let's redo that. Good girl. Oh, step back. Easy. Good. 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 Slowly. Good. That's how we unload, okay? Yeah, I'll I'll even scooch over here too. Okay. Okay. Next, um, I'm gonna take her in and I'm gonna close the divider this time. Okay.
spread it. I want to see if she does that again. Okay. And then I'll explain what I did. You may be thinking why I let her turn around. So for one, she has a history of pooling and um, I honestly don't feel safe enough to get in there and back her out myself because as you notice, she aggressively backs up and uh, this is just part of building her confidence, getting her comfortable being in a claustrophobic little area because um, she's very claustrophobic. So as you notice, she turned around, but I slowly let her turn around. I didn't let her rush. I was holding pressure and slowly allowing her to turn around. She wanted a rush out, but I held her back 
and she actually responded so that was huge and then after that i just let go of the rope and she walked out very calmly and it's okay sometimes your horses are going to back out of the trailer sometimes you might have to start with <laughs> quit it sometimes you'll have to start by letting them turn around and that's okay it's every horse is different and you got to work with them too figure them out see what will help them be comfortable and then you know there's a lot of ways so with time she'll eventually start to feel more comfortable and we'll be able to untie her and back her out ourselves or go in and turn her around ourselves <laughs> so one step at a time good girl okay